All right, guys, back to Chapter 13, Lesson 5 for Go Math. So this is page 545. This is where the actual problem solving starts. So feel free to go back to the pages before this or videos before this if you get stuck in this uh, part of the lesson. So we're going to be unlocking the problem. We're going to have a nice long share and show question here. I'm going to actually zoom in a little bit. Sketch so that we can take a look here at question number one. Whoa. All right, question number one. Lila is wallpapering one wall of her bedroom as shown in the diagram. She will cover the whole wall except for the doorway. How many square feet of wallpaper does Lila need? So if you take a look over here um, at the diagram, you'll see that this wall has a height of 8 feet and a base of 12 feet. That's going to be very important. And then we're going to find our rectangular door with a base of 3 feet and a height of 7 feet. So now we go back to the problem here. Let's see what we need to fill in. First, we need the area of the wall. That is the entire wall, including the door. So we need the 12 times 8. So base times height. If you're not familiar with what 12 times 8 is, just go ahead and do a little uh, scratch paper uh, multiplication problem here. 8 times 2 is 16. Carry the 1 for addition. 8 times 1 is 8 plus 1 is 9. So this becomes 96 square feet. So now we need the area of the door. And the area of the door has a base of 3 and a height of 7, making the square units, square feet here, 21. So then the last thing we're going to do here is we're going to subtract from the area of the wall, which is 96, minus the area of the door. And again, give yourself a little scratch paper so you don't make careless mistakes. And we get, that's a 7, we get 75 square feet. So Lila needs 75 square feet of wallpaper. This problem was actually not too difficult. It does have a lot of reading, and you need to know how to use your diagram. So let's see here. I want to close this out. No. I am having trouble here. Why won't this let me move? Hmm. Sorry about that. I went to tablet mode and I don't know if I like it. I don't know that I like it. Anyway. So now we're down here to the bottom, and we got question two and three. What if there was a square window on the wall with a side length of two? How much wallpaper would Lila need then? So it's making me regret closing out the window of our uh, our first problem here. So if you go back to where we were here. We're at, uh, go away. Um, well, this video is going to give me a run for my money. If you go back here to where our answer was 75, our wall was 96 square feet minus our 21 square feet. Foot uh, door door. So now she's going to put a window. Good night. I'm having problems. Let's imagine her putting a window in here. 
and it says it's square, meaning all of its sides will be two, but for area, we just need base and height. I'm gonna scroll back down, if that is even possible for me today. And we're gonna go, we're gonna continue from our 75 foot space that we found at the end of question one, and now we're gonna subtract two times two, which is four. So if they wanted to include a small window, we would need 71 square feet of wallpaper because clearly you would not put wallpaper over a window. So this part would go here to question two. I'll leave the explanation to you. Uh, again, use your equation to help you explain your answer here. All right. Moving on, let's take a look at question number three. Seriously having issues today. So down here at the bottom of page 545, Ed is building a model of a house with a flat roof as shown in the diagram. There is a chimney through the roof. Ed will cover the roof with square tiles. If the area of each tile is one square inch, how many how many tiles will he need? So this is the same type of problem uh, where you are going to need to find the area of the larger roof, the whole thing, subtracting the part of the area the area of the chimney. So in here, my first step would be the area of the whole roof, which would be 30 times 20. And I'm gonna leave this here for you guys to start working on. I am gonna label it clearly for you. That's the entire roof. Then we have the area of the chimney itself. And then you will need to subtract the area of the roof from the area of the chimney, and that will give you your final area of how many one inch square tiles uh, Ed will need. So your final answer will be in uh, tiles. If you wanted to be more specific, you could say uh, square inch tiles. I'm going to close this out and take a look at the final page of this lesson. All right. So, question number four. Uh, Leah's dog, Leah has a dog and a cat. Together, the pets weigh 28 pounds. The dog weighs three times as much as the cat. How much does the pet weigh? This question seems kind of out of place for this lesson, but it is still one of those kind of things that you are asked as a fourth grader quite a bit to do. Um, if you remember doing tape models, this is the type of question that is. So it would look something like this. Leah has a dog and a cat. And I know that together, that is not what I wanted it to look like. Together, they weigh 28 pounds. Now, all, this bits, all these bits of information are important. The dog weighs three times. One, two, three. So I'm gonna make a box here of three squares. The dog weighs three times as much as the cat, but the cat still weighs something. So you gotta give one box to the cat. So the boxes become important in your equation. So now I have a total of four boxes, one, two, three for the dog, and one for the cat. So that is four times the mystery number. And whatever this mystery number in the box is will go in all of the boxes that I've listed for the dog and the cat. And their total will be 28 pounds. Well, for those of you who are very good at your multiplication. You're going to see this and be like, oh, 4 and 28. I know that 4 times 7 
is 28. So then now every box here is 7 pounds. So that means that the dog is 7 plus 7 plus 7. And the cat is simply 7. So I'm going to leave it to you at this point to finish out this question where it says how much does each pet weigh? You already know the cat weighs 7 pounds and the dog will weigh 3 times as much as that. So this is a review question. It is still a good one. Moving on to question number 5. Mr. Foster is covering two pictures with glass. One is 6 inches by 4 inches and the other one is 5 inches by 5 inches. Does he need the same number of square inches of glass for each picture? Explain. Um, I think a quick picture, <laughs> a quick diagram of this picture should help you pretty quickly. So if his first frame is 6 inches by 4 inches and his second frame is 5 inches by 5 inches, if you do the math, for area, you will find your answer. Um, again, I'm going to leave you the setup. You know, I'm going to leave this to you to finish it up. It is pretty simple. I think most of you would be able to look at this and know the answer uh, right away here. So go ahead and keep working on that one. And I'm going to go ahead and close this screen out. And scroll down here. Let's take a look at six. Let's see if I can get all of seven in here. There we go. All right, question number six. Claire says the area of a square with a side length of 100 centimeters is greater than the area of a square with a side length of one meter. Is she correct? Explain. Well, I'm going to give you one bit of information here that should make this problem much simpler. 100 centimeters is equal to 1 meter. If you've ever seen a yardstick um, where there's a yard on one side and a meter on the other side, then you would be able to tell that 100 centimeters equals exactly 1 meter. And if I were looking at a square, pretend that's a square, 100 centimeters would be absolutely equal to 1 meter. So if, all this, if this is equivalent, if 100 centimeters equals 1 meter, if I had a square that was 1 meter, they're the same. It's just that she's counting with centimeters instead of counting with meters. The area here is going to be quite large. This is going to be 100 times 100. So I'm going to get a 1 with four zeros. This is going to be 10,000 centimeters squared, where my 1 meter uh, square is going to be 1 meter squared but they are, in fact, the same. I'll leave you with that. You can listen to this again if it doesn't quite make sense, but in fact, 10,000 square centimeters is the amount of centimeters that I could put in one square meter. So, there you go. Let me move this up. Question number seven. All right, a rectangular floor is 12 feet long and 11 feet wide. Uh, Janine places a rug that is nine feet long and seven feet wide uh, and covers part of the floor of the room. Select the words to complete the sentence. To find the number of square feet of the floor that is not, we should have paid attention, not covered. So she would have something that looks like this. 12 feet by 11 feet with an interior rug that is uh, 9 by 7. Ooh, I think my computer's starting to die. It's 
So imagine that the black rectangle is the floor and the blue rectangle is the rug. I need to know the part of the room that is not covered by the rug, which would be this little squiggly that I'm drawing between it. So I'm going to need to I'm going to need to find the area of the room, and I need to subtract the area of the rug, and then I will know what is left over. So I am going to need to subtract the area of the rug from the area of the floor. There you go. Just got to think about it a little bit. Take a look at what they're giving you. That is it for this lesson. I hope you guys find these videos helpful. Um, and I will talk to you soon. All right, guys. Bye-bye.